right now I've got this piston on um, of course I've got this engine on its side it's going to make it easier to support the head on my knee um, and you'd always have a sock or some rag around the bottom of the piston to protect it from getting chipped on the side of the metal always never forget that you don't want chips of metal breaking off and going into your crankcase I don't want chips of metal anyway now I've got a my head pre-prepared here I've honed it I've oiled it I've cleaned it off fitted a new gasket there's no gasket glue going to get in these piston rings I'm quite certain of that so that's good I have a bit of WD-40 on the rings just to help them go in they're all lined up with the pegs one two three and I may need this screwdriver so if you can't put the engine on its side to make it easy like this on the bench say if you're in a boat you're either going to have to have very strong hands to take the weight of this while you tease the rings in or use an assistant but whatever you do don't forget that sock right now here we go I'm going to support my cylinder on here and the trick here is not to go square but to put the back down a little bit first only a couple of millimeters and if you get the back of the ring in you can then get the front in so here we go put the shaft on keep the peg lined up and this may be easy and may not be so when we're going in right we're in and we'll push the ring together and that should slip down one ring there we, there we are so that is the first ring in and I've got the weight on my knee now the second ring I want to get the back in first so I push the open ends of the ring towards me tilt the back end in and then tweak with my nails bit of a spin on the cylinder and that's in too number three get the back in first push the things together at the side tilt and we're on there we go now at this point I want to take the piston out so I can remove my sock there goes the sock and then carefully 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 I can go down and push this cylinder on and in this case that's it done I just need to bolt that up